Hanukkah to you. And for those celebrating Christmas, you may be uh, going out to get your trees to put in your home. A lot of people get the real tree. There's plenty of places to get those. But once you get one, how do you transport it back and forth? So some tips for transporting a Christmas tree. They say wrap it in a blanket or a sheet before you put it on or in your car or have the salesman wrap it up in that netting. Sometimes they do that, too. Put a blanket underneath it so it doesn't scratch the top of your car. That's a good thing to do. Uh, when you put it on your car, make sure the trunk is facing forward. The wind can damage the branches and knock a bunch of needles off if you do it the other way. And make sure you go trunk first when you bring it through the front door, too. Uh, tie it down with three ropes or bungee cords, not two. One in the back, one in the middle, and one over the trunk in the front. Remember, the trunk you want in the front. And loop it around the trunk at least once before you tie it down. Also, they say if you don't have a roof rack, open the doors and loop the rope through the car to tie it down. If you just run it through the windows, you won't be able to open the doors. Have you done that before? It sounds like I'm talking from experience, right? <laughs> also, if sap gets on your car... They say use rubbing alcohol to clean it off, put some on a washcloth, lay it down where the sap is, and leave it there for about 30 seconds, and it should wipe right off. And those are some tips for you for transporting your Christmas tree.